are you doing? Uh, welcome to Art Block 260 on Blah Blah and uh, welcome to my life, welcome to my studio. I released yesterday at night a live content which was about the creative 100 creative week which is this week I started today and you don't want to believe how many things I have already created about this two commission stuff. Absolutely zero. I don't know if I'm too tired. Am I too tired? because of this weekend and car driving and blah blah or I have too much things in my head I really don't know it's just ridiculous I can't get in the point actually I can't get in the point in the point I can't uh, I tried to create some schools you know school and um, nothing is coming out I guess this is the part when you try to make a commission a design design ideas to turn them into commission so there's a lot of pressure uh, it's not like an artwork in artwork you just you're just doing it you have no there's no question and nothing no worries about selling that thing and so on and uh, it's quite weird I worked on some schools you know and they turned to a regular nothing to nothing there's also that Harley Davidson stuff nothing came out that's so weird. I guess I'm tired. Should I take this day off? You know, it's just when you promise something in that vlog. So you are supposed to do that, kind of. So this gives you an extra pressure, which is not so good. I really was dreaming today about to create some cool things and to start to make them, you know, going to that copy center to get the enlargements and to start to glue some cardboards and stuff. But nothing happened. This is the worst part of vlogging too, when you promise something and you still didn't do anything about that content. What am I gonna do now? By the way, that thing is still there. You remember? The thing's over there. I made it for a friend. He's quite busy, you know, he's changed his country because of business. He's bam, he is here, bam, he is there. And I can't even reach them. He's a very close of friend of mine, but I can't even reach them. So this stuff is still waiting, but we will bring it to him definitely to see his reaction. Okay, one interesting point is the stuff in Island Bozja Ada. We will be there as soon as possible. That's correct. But the thing is, there is one hotel which I already made a lot of mosaics inside and stances and everything. And there is another hotel, uh, it's almost on the same street. So listen, here's the thing. Um, in this hotel owners, I hope they are not watching. If they are watching, this will turn to something terrible. So these guys are good friends. And one of them has a hotel with a lot of my stuff inside, which makes that hotel unique at that island is what they said to me because in none of these hotels are kind of that kind of mosaics design and special for the hotel and blah 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 choosing colors everything style there are stained glass in the bathrooms there are um, ceramic mosaic tile art in the rooms hang it you know that angel things and stuff there are stencils stencil work cat the mad cat if you remember uh, at the entry and there's another stencil at the facade and so he, they said that this hotel is unique with all your stuff because of your stuff okay that's fine this hotel is unique because also how they manage everything it's clean and picobello it's amazing cool but the point is now his friend which is building that hotel right now a couple of blocks away from that hotel he wanna also have some mosaics bam if you know you know so the first hotel owner, which I already worked with a long time, for a long, very long time, is already a good client of mine, he's paying his, has respect all of my designs, showing respect of everything, and there is this other guy, which is his friend. So how are we gonna do that? So the first hotel owner, he said, just do your business, just go for it. But I know, in his mind, he's going like, what happened if he made a lot of mosaics inside that hotel from his friends so these two hotels will be become like on the same line so that first hotel will be not unique anymore how are we gonna do that we have two ways to avoid this kind of a problem 
The first way is you don't do it. Just say thank you to the second hotel. How you can do that, you can give them a very high prices, like double it a couple of times. $4,000, just write $40,000. That's the first way, but most of the time, people are accepting this prices. Just to let you know, if it's more expensive, it's more valuable, so people are ready to buy it. More easier than when it's cheap. Okay, how are we gonna do that? The second way is, uh, if, it's, if it will be a mosaic, we can change the technical way, you know, how we do that. The style of uh, breaking the tiles, the style of laying the tiles, the style of colors, shapes and things like that will probably um, look different than the mosaics in that first hotel. But this is still... The end effect will be mosaic, that's true. So that's a problem actually. I don't want to let these two people, you know, have a fight because of this mosaic stuff. Um, but I really don't know. I really don't know. So there's a lot of things um, to think about this issue. That's why I cannot just jump in and analyze the photo and send them prizes as I said in yesterday's live stream in the vlog. So this stuff is done today. I really don't know how to act to that thing. What kind of technique? I already used almost everything in the first hotel. How can we do another style of mosaics in there? We can use marble, but marble will be very hard to work with. Uh, in the details, it's almost impossible because marble is like when you break, when you try to break a marble tile uh, in a very small size, it's almost impossible and a lot of pain in your hands because it's a very hard material. And uh, it will be quite heavy as well and no, not much colors to use in marble. So I really don't know how we're gonna do that. So I will think about this one day more. As the German said, eine Nacht drüber schlafen. So we need to sleep one night more uh, to uh, find a good uh, solution for that project, that mosaic project. So what about the schools, the Harley Davidsons? I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, the point is also, should we make something very interesting? Actually not. We have to make something which will be get sold very quickly. This is what the owner wants, actually. You know, if you come up with a Picasso, uh, and nobody is ready to buy that, so it will not turn to your commission, if you know what I mean. We need something what people are ready to buy. What is this? It's school form on a white, um, like this thing here, this white thing. Just paint the cardboard in white by using brush to create some lines, you know, to show that this is not spray, this is just made by hand very randomly. And then we can maybe uh, spray a school form just in black with flowing colors and stuff. It should be interesting. Uh, another point to make it more interesting is make it big. That's a quite important issue, if you don't know about that. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been in the Tate Modern, in London, the works of Rotko, if you know what I mean, are just very simple colors, you know, like um, one color and after another color, but that thing was huge. It was so big, that work of Pollock, it was so big, it was the whole wall was covered, was covered with that work, just one work. So if you make it big, um, it takes more, it looks more interesting to people to buy something big for a good price. So this is some technical stuff about selling uh, and about uh, attract people's attention, if you know what I mean. So uh, it's almost, I guess, 2 p.m. or something. There's still nothing on the table. Uh, I still couldn't do anything, uh, but I tried to. I guess I'm too tired. I'm really tired. I need a good sleep. So excuse me for today. I promised yesterday something totally different. 
but the week is not over yet. See you at the next vlog.